I've not even really done the math here. Honestly, math's for blockers anyway. Who cares? We're playing big green stompy boom. We, we, we're not high intelligence. That's mono blue stuff. We're mono green. Season of gathering. I think we'll just do this, right? Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. I don't care. I don't care. This is for content. I don't... Let's hunt. Eight plus four is 12. That's 17. Two blockers. That's 15. That's not enough. I don't care. I don't care. Big green. Go boom. Go stompy. Go boom. Don't care. Uh, yep. We'll just do this. Whatever. That is going to be a 17. We didn't have enough. But they don't care. Good game. <laughs> Ladies and gentle mages. Civilians across the multiverse. Welcome back to another episode with Mana Man. And today we've got a juicer for you. So I know you've clicked the video. You've seen it. Mono green. Is it playable? Is it good? I think so. Let's dig right into the deck here. We got the green season. It is the season to be green, my friends. Because this deck, once you once you resolve the season of gathering, it's pretty much over. I'm not joking you. Let's address what it does. Five paw prints of modes. Hey, but it is what it is. You may divvy this up however much you choose. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. It gains vigilance and trample until end of turn. Pretty cool, especially, you know, we are green, so we're going to be running some pretty big boys here. And then we go over choose artifact or enchantment. Just destroy all the permits of those type. That is actually really, really good. I mean, there's so like, you know, this Leyline Bindings. You don't see it as much anymore, but there's like Ossification. There's just, I mean, just random, anything you could ever imagine. And then Artifacts is really, really nice versus Simulacrum. It's very, very nice versus, um, you know, Urbass Forge, pretty much anything. But this card is amazing. And what I really like about it, draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. That is the, that is the single part where it just becomes absolutely silly. If you, like... Do you understand what this is? I mean, I understand it costs six, but when you cast this, usually you've got an O'Hare Castle. You got a Rattleworm. You got a Bailoth out there. So when you go for this, and especially if you go for the plus one plus one counters, you're gonna literally just draw like six cards. I mean, I, I'm not just, like that's literally what it does. Draw cards equals the greatest power. So it costs six, obviously, but once you do that and you get to draw like six cards, it's insane. Like Mono Green has never had something this powerful and this amount of you draw ever. I mean, as long as I played it in like the arena era, see, I, I, I don't think so. Not this term, not draw power. No. Okay, I'll stop kind of blabbing about that. We got other cards as part of the deck here. I do a Vaultborn Tyrant. Obviously, it's pretty nice. You're going to want uh, more green cards here. I do love the Arc Jewish Charm, which is why you do want a little bit more of that like top end kind of things here. And you know what? I actually think this is might be kind of the way to do this just versus control. You might want to go maybe one Vaultborn Tyrant. I actually kind of like that. Let's go for one Vaultborn Tyrant and one Tyrannix Rex. Just so that you can go for the Arctuous Charm, because with this one, you can search your library for a creature card and then reveal it, and you get to put it into your uh, hand, or you can just ramp. But usually, I like to kind of like um, search for kind of cards or whatever. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. It's going to deal damage, so you're not even having to fight, or you can just exile a tar artifact or enchantment. I do have one, just for flavor's sake. It is my lucky charm, but the reason why I'm not running more than one is because it's usually better late, late, good later in the game. It has three green, so we are running the desert. The desert does not give actual green. Now, there's a, multiple reasons why we're doing it. The first one is the rattle worm. The rattle worm, we can flash this in as long as we have a desert, which is going to be kind of why I don't really want to run like two or three of these because it does have all green. And the pylons gives colorless, which is not that big of a deal because we do have the haywire might. Haywire might again, just more artifact and non-creature enchantment hate, and it does allow you to gain life, which is very very nice. Versus like, because you're gonna say like, usually mono green doesn't have a lot of removal because it's like, oh my god, it's like you know the meta is so fast. What do we do? Haywire might is really really good, and plus if they go for monstrous rage, you can take your haywire might block the creature and they don't get to go for monstrous rage necessarily because when you block it you're going to exile it and then you're going to exile the monster roll token and then like it's there's no trample anymore does that make sense you'll kind of get the point here when you if you have one green left open don't get me wrong then the monstrous rage will kind of fizzle out because you'll do that you'll gain life no trample goes through it's great lava spur boots is necessary because of just control just like in general like once you do this kind of the same reason why i just put this tyrannix rex in here you're gonna need that lava spur boots because you really need the uh the haste factor versus like those slower type of decks paw patch formation we got a green go for the throat of course it has to fly but still but still this is why you can main deck this is it's always pretty good destroy target enchantment a lot of decks you run enchantments not everyone but a lot of people do um it is a green go for the throat as long as it's flying it can hit the slick shot show off and there's just, i mean aquas i don't know whatever there's a lot of flying creatures here so having this up your arsenal is very good i am actually debating going for four but then you kind of have to cut something else here and i think this is a pretty good like balance brew here we have 24 lands here a pretty even curve i think three is like the sweet spot here and we got the wild guy i love this little dude 
or dude za or do that i don't know whatever but you get multiple if you have the offspring you are going to be able to go for one mana of any color it is a uh two for one essentially now you are committing to the board but that's okay that's okay we've got tricks that we can kind of play into if we do get into a little bit of trouble um you actually will notice in the first match i'm going to switch up the order because the first match i'm just going to let you in on a little bit of a secret the first match is really really good so i actually moved it but i actually thought you had to put the plus one plus one counter as a sorcery i didn't miss that in the second match because i am kind of re-recording the intro don't worry about it don't worry about it um so I, I actually did not know at the beginning that it could be a sor uh, I thought it had to be a sorcery speed. It does not. You can just put a plus one plus one counter on it. So that is very very relevant because the rattle worm comes in at flash. Yada yada. Uh, Frillback fr fr back is just a good card. We have a lot of it. If you notice, we have a lot of it. artifact and enchantment removal. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. So that is never a problem. Um, Tail swipe, uh, Paul Price formation, Arc Jewish charm to kind of get rid of stuff here. But like I said, there is a you know green does kind of struggle with like spot removal, but we do have like the best that we can. Uh, I think that's enough. That is seven things that can potentially get rid of stuff here. Battle up is good. Versus, well, obviously, versus discard, you just get that. But gaining four life, again, we're trying to really um, get, get good. I'm trying to get good versus aggro. And battle up, haywire might, etc., etc. Even the Paul Patch formation. Scrap Gorger kind of gets rid of the Abuelos uh, combo reanimation kind of stuff here. So there's a lot to like here, guys. I'm being very, very serious. I think, again, I don't want to ever, like, sell you false hope but i think this deck if you were a mono green mage it took me a while to kind of get the perfect concoction and i think especially with the season of greeting or yeah ga sorry gathering oopsie um i think mono green we can we can do this you can use this to level up and you will get mythic once you learn how to pilot it well but i think i've yapped long enough let's go ahead and give a shout out to the mana rocks the mana rocks are the youtube channel members and the patrons that do help out the channel financially which is very very nice it is five dollars there's only like one tier i'll probably have some sort of perk at some point because i'm going to continue faking it until i make it because I'm, I'm a tiny channel i'm trying to grow here so just keep in mind that only you can help protect the aether with me make sure to leave a like on the video the button looks just like this it helps out the channel tremendously i'd greatly appreciate it but without further ado let's get ready to vanquish some enemies proximity all right well i have approximately a good hand here so I'll go ahead and keep I do like the pylons into either the boots or the haywire mic just because it's uh, colorless, which is very, very nice. Big fan of the paw patch formation. Voltborn Tyrant. Okay, so we're playing against most likely control. I, I'm, I'm not running Cavern of Souls. I guess I'll keep it, but it feels really bad knowing that it's probably just going to get countered later in the game. But I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it. Haywire mic it's pretty good. I mean, they do have, um, again, I mean, I am assuming this is going to be control, but sometimes it could be like the Abuelo's Awakening kind of deck here. And if it's that, we do have the Scrap Gorger. Scrap Gorger, no counter yet. No, no more, no, no more lies. But if it is Abuelo, we have a Scrap Gorger. Temporary Lockdown kind of sucks. Kind of sucks, not going to lie. I feel like it's for the Pylons. I, I don't know what I'm searching for. Land, not really. I don't, I don't think I need that. So I'm actually going to go for this now kind of sucks that we don't get it to go but let's go for target enchantment blah blah at least get our stuff back here i think that's pretty annoying i'm gonna do it before they have a chance to counter it yeah i'm not really sure i'm gonna definitely i think it's pretty safe to assume that this is going to be um just like classic azorius control rather than the abuelo even though i'd much rather see the abuelo nonsense all right Spellgeier. I like this card. I like this card a lot. Surveil 2, then draw 2. Nothing really in the graveyard here to kind of um, worry about here. But Scrap Gorger will be able to take care of something. It'd be really a, a gift if they do tap out so that we can go for Season of Gathering. That would be very, very nice. But this Season of Gathering, I'm telling you, the Season of Gathering, if you resolve it, usually it makes you win. But right now we don't really have a powerful creature to get that massive card draw. So let's go ahead and do this. I guess we'll just take, uh, like I said, it doesn't really matter here. Literally doesn't matter, sure. Pick your poison. All right, what do we got here? All right, we got a wild guide. <laughs> I mean, I can go for Season of the Gathering. I'm going to do it. I'm assuming it just gets countered again. You always have to assume the worst when they have, like, six cards in their hand. Yeah, let's go ahead and just draw. Bang, bang. Very good chance they just get uh, rid of it, but I guess we'll go ahead and eat the temporary lockdown for absolutely no reason other than pride, I guess. 
All right, so here we go. Honestly, not that big of a thing here. We're gonna be, what, uh, draw three if this resolves. No more lies is what it is. Oh, well. Take this. Take this. 18 to 20. This is easy. This is easy. Just peck away 18 more times with our Haywire Might and we'll win. Make that 19 more times. Okay, never mind. All right, we got a Volt Board Tyrant. I got to do it. <laughs> do not counter me, please. Let's get rid of this No More Lies just out of spite. Hopefully they don't have No More Lies and there's another No More Lies. Okay, that sucks a lot. But now at least the Scrap Gorger's up to three. And is my might? Are they going to do something to my might? No, they are not. 18, baby. So just 18 more times and we're, we're well on our way here, man. We're well on our way. <laughs> Jace? Okay. Hi, how you doing, Jace? How you doing? How you doing? Wow, they, they're just going straight for the mill action. Okay, well, I guess, but, oh, there we go. But the Colossal, we have the Colossal Rattle Worm, so... Colossal Rattle Worm can kind of help. I mean, right now, I'm not going to lie. We're looking absolutely horrific. Can't even lie about it. I guess we'll go ahead and just take our damage here, because... Not really much else doing here. Scrap Gorger is now a beat stick. We don't really need the uh, the ramp here. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything about that, so, unfortunately. Yep. It is what it is, and it ain't what it isn't. <laughs> At least we don't have to worry about um, the Wandering Emperor anymore. I'm just coping. This is looking kind of scary. Do I do this and then just... Yeah, let's do this. Let's go for the Offspring here. We still can go for the Rattle Worm. Uh, sure. Actually, come to think of it, they actually did a... I actually have two pylons on here. One, two, three... Four. Oh my god! Wait... We have okay, so this rattleworm's not even gonna be able to grab it. We have all of our deserts out. All of our deserts are already out for the count. That is actually really, really unfortunate. All right. Yeah, I guess I can. I, you know what? I actually am not gonna go for the rattleworm. Just because I mean I don't have another desert. It has to be specifically a desert. So we actually, yeah, nothing really comes of it. So I guess I, I'm gonna take this action to kind of thin the deck out. But they're also trying to mill me with Jace. So, like, I don't know if I want to help them too much. But, like, I don't, I don't think I can just say no to, like, lands, right? That's, that seems a little silly as well. So, I guess we'll just take our... We'll, we'll put our tail between our legs. Our little um, two tails that we have with our two possums here. I just can't do anything with the rattle worm here. Whatever. Rollback's okay, I guess. Rollback's okay. Nothing groundbreaking here, but I think we'll just have to take our damage. I, man, it is kind of close. I could try to go for the plus one, plus one, now that I know that these, um, these little possum. We're not playing possum here. We don't have to wait on the uh, instant speed or the sorcery speed plus one, plus one counter, but I think just getting the damage in is probably better. I'm going to go for the haywire might. Sunfall, sure. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. At least the frillback, we keep the frillback. We don't like want to totally overextend. So at least we get the frillback. We'll be able to kill you. Another land is really brutal. We do not need land. Uh, I, need, I need cards I can play here, but nevertheless, we'll just go ahead and do this. It's our only play, so. Alright, we'll destroy you. Pretty cool. And then exile your graveyard. Again, the graveyard stuff's not really doing a whole lot, but it's worth noting. Hopefully that'll show me like another super crazy thing, but it's worth noting we can tail swipe the land here. I mean, we can try. I'm just gonna do it now. I don't wanna give them a map token. Let's not even have them attack. Ah, damn it. All right, get lost. So, uh, we're completely out of juice. No rattle worm, no nothing. All right, they got one card left in their hand, but they do get this map token. Oh, God. I'm starting to get a little sweaty here. Spell guy. Okay, ra okay, rattle worm, rattle worm. Not that bad. I'm going for it right now. We don't have a, we don't have a desert either way. And plus, we know that they have a counter spell coming up. But this is a pretty good top deck. Land is not a good top deck. Map again. On the map, on the map. Door of the Explorer, Wild Guide. I guess I did call Door of the Explorer, Wild Guide. It makes kind of sense, I guess. I'm gonna keep it. I know this is maybe, uh, maybe I should be a little less conservative here. 
They might, I was gonna say, that's actually kind of nice though. They use this to draw. They don't have the counter, so we know that. I don't know though. Maybe that wild guide. I know we can go for the offspring and get them bigger, but that's. I think that's a misplay. I'm already having a little bit of buyer's remorse on that. I think we need something a little bit more powerful than our little possum friend here, even with the offspring, so. Unfortunately, my rattle worm. My rattle worm is about 3,000 feet tall, but it can't reach the restless anchorage, unfortunately. So. A little bit of a flavor fill that way. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Come on, rattle worm. If they can't kill the rattle worm, I mean, this isn't terrible. Another Jace. Okay, okay, hold on. I have 24 cards left in my library. I gotta make note of that. But swing in. Bang! All right, all right. So slowly but surely, we're I mean, we're gonna we already kind of made our bed. We gotta sleep in it here. So let's go for the offspring. So the Jace is not a win condition, correct? Don't like them gaining life. They don't swing, huh? Why? Or not swing, or go for Jace? Why? Okay, oh, okay, so after all that, they do end up going for Jace. Okay. Okay. Emotions. Let's see what they want to do here. They want to weaken a creature. Emotions. They do weaken this creature, so they don't go for the Rattle Worm, which tells me they probably have like a get lost or something. Okay, O'Hare Taslam. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Okay, we like the O'Hare. Okay. Uh, they can go for the Restless Anchorage and go for a Get Lost or something like that. So here's Anchorage, sure. 4-5. And they gotta, they gotta block... Do they have a Get Lost? No. Uh, okay, Elspeth Smile. Okay. I don't really care about the exile. I mean, again, we already have one rattle worm in the grave, and it's not really doing anything. So that's pretty good. Now, I mean, th this is not that bad though. O'Hare Castle, the deepest growth, baby. Come on, come on. Let's see what they want to do here. They got four life. We have a trample creature. Beza, Beza. Oh God. They top deck a Beza. I mean, I can't really complain. We top deck no hair Castle. Oh god, now they can draw with the fountain port. With oh man, this is hard. With Jace, I wonder what they're gonna do here. Why are they hitting my my possum? And not the O'Hare. That's a little weird to me. Like, why why? I guess I might as well put the plus one plus one counter. I learned that a little earlier here. Tail oh tail swipe! Tail swipe. Hit the Beza. I mean, I guess the only thing they could really do right now is go for Fountain Port and draw for an answer. Bang! They don't even they don't even do that. Okay. I guess they know that I have a trample here. Oh my god, hold on, hold on. I have 21 cards in my I have 21 cards left in my Okay, I No! This is so frustrating. I have 21 cards left in my library. You got seven. Seven times three is 21. I lose if I don't kill them this turn or touch the Jace. I have to go for the Jace. I have to go for the freaking Jace, don't I? Wow, I literally have to, because there's no swing I can make here that wins me the game. So they have eight life. I have to swing on Jace. That's so crappy. I ha yeah, yeah, I have to swing on Jace. I can't do eight damage no matter what, and then we just lose if I, if I, if I do that, so... I, I have to swing on Jace. Have to. Yeah. Survey says final answer, deal or no deal. Whatever. I don't care. I guess we'll just do this. We'll put a plus one plus one counter on the on the possum then. Alright, that's completely fine. I don't really mind the the hair can come back. The deepest growth can come back, so whatever. Bang. Like I said, yeah, we um I can only deal seven damage maximum. Okay. Jace can minus two to draw. Okay, land, land off the top. But damn it, they have that freaking treasure token, so they're gonna be able to go for Fountain Port. Eight life. I can bring back my my O'Hare. What what's Jace gonna do here? Okay. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. All right. 
Scrap Gorger, kind of, kind of crappy. Kind of a crappy draw there, but that's all right. 20 cards left. 20 cards left. I can't I can't even, like, threaten Lethal here or anything. I'm just going to do that. We already know this is coming. So let's, let's just go for the O'Hare while we can. I'm going to swing into the Jace. I think I have to go for the Jace here, man. It really sucks. It really sucks. Okay. All right. All right. Jace is gone. Eight life. Please no sunfall. Please no sunfall. Jace. Okay. Okay. 20 cards. I have 20 cards left. They can only mill me 15 unless they have two Jaces or something. Maybe, maybe they're gonna go for this and try to draw into like a Sunfall. All right, that makes sense. I oh my god. I, okay, I was gonna say I could go for a Rattle Worm and get rid of the Rattle Worm in my grave, but they just mill three and then they clear the the threshold anyway. So they're still gonna get that draw three. I was gonna say that could have been a ten thousand IQ play. Please no Sunfall. All right, plus one, plus one. My turn. Paw patch formation. Doesn't really help us that much. I don't have to worry about Emperor. I know that. I don't have to worry about Wandering Emperor. I guess we'll just do. I, I'm gonna do this. I, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta just, just see what we're rocking. Oh, Archduke's Charm. Okay. Archduke's Charm. I get a plus one plus one counter, but I have to deal damage to a creature I don't control. So I don't think I can just put a plus one plus one on it. I have to actually deal damage to something I don't control, right? How can I make use of this Archduke's charm? My lucky charm. Let's go. Swing. Let's go. Let's go. Elspeth oh, so Smile. Okay, oh, I'm I, I'm I'm gonna try. I don't think I can do this though. Let me try. Archduke's charm. If I do this, I can live the, the Yeah, I can't. They won't let me Okay, yeah, I can't. I can't. I don't have a creature, that's fine. I'm just going to have to let it go. I'm going to have to let it go. Damn it. Okay. What else you got for me? Found port. Now they do have a creature I can kill. I think I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it, baby. Plus one, plus one. I, I guess I'll just put it on you. I guess you have trample, but it doesn't really matter. Can they really get another creature down? Archduke's charm. My lucky charm. My lucky charm. Archduke's charm. Come on. No, no more life! I can pay it! I can pay it three! I pay three! They're tapped out! They're tapped out! We take it! Good game, baby! Oh my god, no way! Stuntman! Stuntman, I hope you do your own stunts, my friend. Hope you do your own stunts, because things are about to get kind of crazy here. Sly of hand. Alright, so we got some mono blue versus mono green. I think mono blue is actually in a pretty decent spot in the meta right now, but hopefully mono green's better. Haywire might. Alright, well, at least we get a one drop here. Haywire Might's probably not that relevant in this type of matchup, but we'll still take it. Um, always want to go for the Scrap Gorger before the Wild Guide, just because the Wild Guide can actually go in for um, Offspring later. Take this one to... Oh, it's, oh, okay. That's actually not that big of a deal. It's kind of annoying, but... So, immediate... This kind of, oh, man, Mono Blue's, Mono Blue's got some new toys. This actually kind of fills up the graveyard, kind of helps the Haughty. And even that Crab thing. The paw, the paw patch formation is like, man, it's such, such a good card. I'm going to go for the wild guide. Let's go for this. You always want to go for the scrap gorger first because this goes into a nice little one-two punch here. I'm expecting this gets uh, countered. doesn't really matter what we take here. I'm expecting this most likely gets countered, but that is what it is. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now we get two mana dorks for the price. Well, kind of for the price of one, I guess. Eh, they pay the full retail price for you. And then they get to kind of fill up their graveyard here. At least the scrap gorger. We'll kind of eat away at their graveyard, which is going to help for that crab and the haughty. So, not too worried yet. Got the Paul Patch formation in the back end. I think we're sitting pretty good here. I'm a big fan of Tail Swipe, too. Just having that uh, instant speed. Oh, we'll get, what, what, what are you up to, Mono Blue? What are you doing here? Is this the crab? Because it has... I would assume it... 
Yeah, yeah, it has to be with the uh, with the flash. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that makes sense because they're gonna tap my creatures before. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm not gonna be able to use it. Okay, makes sense. Fair enough. This thing does come in tap, so we're gonna get something. We're gonna eat the graveyard here. That's fine. There's nothing I can really do functionally, right? Oh, oh, oh! No, no, no! no. Okay. Well, I kind of screwed up. I thought you could only put the plus one, plus one counter on it as a sorcery. So we're, we're going to miss out on a plus one, plus one counter on there. All right. That was unfortunate. I kind of, I'll make a mental note of that going forward. Oopsie. Okay. Well, either way. Yeah, you actually don't need it. You actually do not need to go for ooh, Season of Gathering. Season of Gathering is, I will say basically a win condition. Yeah, you don't have to do, you don't have to do uh, that as a sorcery speed. So we miss out on a plus one, plus one counter, but... On our lovely possum, but it is what it is. We're playing possum, I guess. Sleight of hand. Let's see what you got here. Still not worried if they do drop the haughty. We've got multiple ways we can deal with it. The season of the gathering is obviously like one of our most powerful cards, but I can't really risk like a counter spell. So if they do tap out, which I highly doubt. Oh! Okay, okay, so they, okay, they're, they're literally tapped out. I will gladly take this. Oh, this is actually wonderful. I think it's good. I, it is tempting to go in for Tail Swipe. No, I, we're gonna have to go for six, because we, we would just trade anyway. This is our opportunity. Season of Gathering, gather around the campfire. We're going to do some massive draws and some massive bumping. Buffing, bump, 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 yeah. Buffing. I think we should go tall. Let's just go nice and tall. And be, I don't even think I dropped my land drop, did I? No, I did not drop my land drop. They give us a nice hey. You know what? Let's give a cheers. A cheers to you. Cheers to you, my friend. Cheers to you. Let's drop this. Yeah, I can't be the pylons because I'm going to have to tail swipe here. Tail swipe. Let's get rid of the uh, Illuge. Make sure there's no shenanigans going on there. We swing in. Ba bang. Looking good. Now, what do we discard? I don't think I really matter. I think a Haywire Might. Haywire Might's not doing too much here, so. This is the actual really. Moment of truth, sure. Looking good, like I said, that's the green season. The green season is so like underrated. I mean, it can literally win you games. The draw power of Vaultborn Tyrant, looking good. I don't think it's ready to go for the Vaultborn Tyrant yet, but we'll go ahead and do this instead. But man, the Vaultborn Tyrant, nah, get her out of here, Scrap Gorger, we don't need that. We don't need the Scrap Gorger for sure. I mean, the Rattle Worm now has Flash. We can now Flash in the Rattle Worm, so... Ah, uh, I don't really know. I don't really know what we want to do here. I'm definitely going to be aggressive with the Baloth. That's that's for sure. So we'll just do that. If they do return it with the... Um, I forgot, I don't know that card, but you know what I'm talking about. The one they've already cast, like, twice already. Down to seven. Nothing to sneeze at. So Rattle Worm has Flash, and then we got four left over. So I think we've got enough for what Haywire might, maybe a Paw Patch formation, and a Rattle Worm. Sure, <laughs> sure, I guess. You gotta figure a Haughty's coming at some point. And that's why we have the the Paw Patch formation. A very good card, man. There it is. Speak of the devil. All right, Haughty Jin. Okay. I assume they have some sort of counter spell, but that's okay. Let's go in for, let's go for the, we can actually go for the Paw Patch formation and then we can go in for a Tail Swipe if they have a counter. Cause they do they have two counters is the question. They don't even have one counter, let's go. Bill Gates, well, um, got some mono green here. I think Bill Gates is pretty uh, acquainted with green, if you know what I mean, so. All right, let's see what we got here. White. Pretty good hand here. Let's go for a wild guy. Of course, I am not. I am no stranger to dropping the wild guy without the offspring. I will still gladly take um, still gladly take it on turn two. Builder's talent, interesting. Okay, well this is no problem. I'm just gonna be able to drop my rattle worm. A lot of times I do like to flash in the rattle worm, but I do not always have to. Contrarily, contrary to popular belief, I'm just gonna drop it, baby. Yeah, I'm nothing too worried about here. I mean, we, did, we were on the play and we did ramp, so I can't really uh, pretend like things are too crazy for us yet. They just go in for, you know, get lost or something. I don't really care. Demolition Field's not going to help them out. Things are looking pretty uh, kosher right now. 
There's the get loss, of course. It's alright, it's alright though. Balaf. Well. Instead of jump, I mean, we could go for Bal. Yeah, let's go for Balaf and then I think a map token with the uh, wild guide. I think that's fine, right? Don't think the life is going to matter too much here. Should I put it on my Balaf or should I put it on the wild guide? I, I mean, it actually does kind of matter here. I think because I think the Balaf is big enough for the 1-4 anyway, we should do that. So now we do our pylons, which is kind of nice. If we can just resolve the sea, I'm telling you, I'm not even joking you. If we resolve Caretaker's talent, okay, they're just they're just setting it up. I mean, they're just setting it up. So I'm gonna go for the pylons. Yeah, but they're they're just setting up for the season of the gathering. So pylons, I guess I'll keep it. I kind of do want a decent amount of land here. So uh, let's absolutely waste no time here. Gather around the campfire. It's the season of gathering. Let's go ahead and draw. And I'm gonna destroy all the enchantments here. So two enchantments. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Bye bye. And now we draw. Oh God. I mean, just look at that. Let's go ahead and kind of fix up our hand here. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Ba bang. Um, I always like to fix up my hand if you've never noticed, but um. Caretaker's talent, that is a pretty slow. You're pretty slow to the party. I actually have another season of get Look at this. Like, the game's just over. Like, the game is... I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but the game has got to be just over. I have another season of Gathering. We got a Vault Born Tyrant. There's no way they can really come back from this, right? More draws. Swing in. Like I guess I don't want to be too cocky. I don't want to be too cocky. Um, But things are just looking really good here. We have a full, juicy hand. I can flash in the Rattle Worm. All right, all right, all right, all right. Beza could kind of stall into a, a sunfall, so maybe I was, maybe I was getting a little cocky. I really hope I don't lose now, but we had a, such a good start, but I don't know, I don't know. You know what, I think uh, with, hold on, tail, two tail swipes, tail swipe gives us a buff and so does the season of gathering. Uh, Do we, hold on, do we win here? If I go for tail swipe and just get rid of the Beza, can we just can we just go through? Tail swipe on the Beza, sure. And then I'm gonna tail swipe on the thing with the highest toughness. So another tail swipe. I have I I then we have season of gathering, they just kinda of bumped. I, I have not even really done the math here. Honestly, math's for blockers anyway. Who cares? We're going boom. We're playing big green stompy boom. We, we we're not high intelligence. That's mono blue stuff. We're mono green. Season of Gathering. Uh, I think we'll just do this, right? Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. I don't care. I don't care. This is for content. I don't... Let's hold on. 8 plus 4 is 12. That's 17. Two blockers. That's 15. That's not enough. I don't care. I don't care. Big green. Go boom. Go stompy. Go boom. Don't care. Uh, Yep. Yeah, we'll just do this. Whatever. That is going to be a 17. We didn't have enough. But they don't care. Good game. Era Mitra, I'm gonna beat ya. Hello, hello. Let's go, baby. Alright, so do like the pylons. Turn one into the haywire might. Colorless. Ooh, we got the... Okay, we got a rattle worm here. With our lovely desert, we'll be okay. Being able to flash that in is just so freaking nice, man. So, what we got here? Cacophony Scamp. Um, alright. At least we are on the play, because honestly, this matchup scares me quite a lot. Let's go for the wild guide. Let's go for the wild guide. Obviously not swinging here. Hey, why am I obviously giving us life is going to be very, very clutch. So let's see what they got for us. Ember Heart Challenger. Well, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They're tapped out here. I think I am going to block. Yeah, let's not even. Yeah, I, I, this is perfectly fine. Take one, gain two, up 21. Yeah, this is fine. I think there's our Paw Patch formation. All right, let's say even if they did have the... Uh, um, the whatchamacallit, the slick shot show off. We have, we can pop patch formation it, so. Scampy, strip scampy. So there's the show off. Now I gotta make it, you know what, actually, is it, I mean, I'm a little nervous about not drawing into a land. We draw a land, everything's fine. Never mind. Okay, now we're fine. Now we're fine. Because now we can flash in the rattle worm or go for the paw patch. I was gonna say, I was tempted, I was tempted to not do that, but this is, this is gonna work out just fine. It would have been tempting just to drop like the frill back uh, if we didn't draw that land and just kind of have like a blocker. But I'm so glad we didn't because now we don't have to worry about anything. Now we've got a Paul Patch formation. It's so funny because no one has ever prepared for this. No, I, and I mean no one is prepared for a green uh, go for the throat. <laughs> no one's prepared for it. Yeah, it has to fly obviously, but 
Go ahead, do all your do all, do all your stuff. We're gonna get hit once. I'm gonna get hit once, but paw patch formation. And that is a green go for the throat. That that works pretty good with me. I imagine we blow this up. A lot of times I do like the felonous rage trick, but they sacrifice. No. Oh, okay, okay. Don't have to send an emote. Don't have to send an emote. They were uh, just checking out this ballot that we're gonna drop. Yeah, this man, this card is really good. Not the greatest versus control, but versus discard, obviously really good. And then just versus like aggro. Yeah, this ballot's good. This ballot is worth running. Another shrimp scampi. One card left in their hand. I'll block. They don't even. They don't even want it. That's fine with me. Um. I don't think there's really much to worry about. I really, I really don't. I could flash in the rattle worm. Yeah. And again, because we have a desert, we just have to flash it in. So, challenger, sure. This will be a lot easier if they tap out. I'm gonna do it. Screw it. Let's go for the rattle worm here. There's really no. I don't think there's any way we can lose this, right? They don't even have like a, a monstrous rage. But even if they did, we still have a frill back. I mean. I have a furl back and a bow off. We're gaining life. Oh, season. Oh, it's over. It's over. Season of gathering. This card literally just makes you win the game. I'm not. I'm not even joking you. It's literally an auto win once we do this. We're gonna draw uh, after the counters. We're just gonna literally draw a bazillion cards. I don't even care. Yep. Draw. Look at the draw power that season of gathering presents to you, and it's just over. Now these cards have vigilance. We don't even have to worry about a counter attack on the back end. Just absolutely busted. There we go. The Season of Gathering, like I said, is my favorite card other than the Paw Patch. I just love Mono Green, and I think it's truly playable. Natuki 03. All right, we got a pretty good hand here. I'm going to keep it. Definitely got to keep it. Two lands can get a little funky on the draw, so hopefully we don't find any sort of crazy Mono Red. Getting a little nervous. As long as we can probably get into three land, we should be okay. Hey, whoa. They didn't. Well, why didn't you? Why didn't you go for the fatal passage? Am I crazy? It's a little sus. What was up with that? But all right, let's go for the pylons. We'll be able to flash in our rattle worm. Battle off. I think I'm gonna say no. I think I'm gonna say no. I think I'm just kind of after land. To be completely honest with you. So let's go for our little wild guide. No offspring here, but that's okay. Now they finally go for the fatal passage. That was extremely strange, though. It was very strange. All right. This is not, as I was say, is this Naya or is this, what, what, how many, what, we got five color nonsense here? All right. Um, because they are running blue, I am a little, I am tempted to just kind of like just drop this now. Because I'm a little nervous that they might have a counter spell. So let's do this. Let's go for the battle first. And that's probably not the best move. I mean, it's the rattle worm, but this blue is kind of tricking me out here a little bit. Cornucopia, sure. Okay. You know what? I am just gonna hope to God that they just do not have a sunfall. If they have a sunfall, I just scream. I just scream to the high heavens to the god. This god, the deepest growth. So, really ignoring this rattle worm, it doesn't feel great. I guess my line of play at least kind of. Son of a bitch. Okay. Um. Well, they probably don't have two, right? They probably don't have two. Hopefully. Oh, pylons, sure. I guess we're looking for maybe like another threat. That's not a threat. Well, I think we can do this and then go for the tail swipe. That feels pretty sneaky. If they just have like a counter spell, I think they I think they just like have us. Um sure. I don't love it, but it is what it is. Okay. If we go for this, no. There's a, there's a decent chance that they like, animate this. No, there's not, because this comes untapped. I lied. I, I lied. I lied. But we still got the Rattle Worm Tail Swipe combo. I guess I could top deck into uh, a Season, which would be really nice. So I am going to use the Tail Swipe instead of on our own turn. That is a bad draw, unfortunately, but it is what it is. All right, we got a little bit of offense here. Just looking to flash in you, but now we're kind of living on a prayer. Another, another Sunfall, and then... That, that sun is uh, very bright. I don't know what it is, but it's going to kill us. So please no sunfall. 
Honestly, they can just drop like a tracks and we're screwed too. Like, this is not a very good matchup here for us. So please don't do that. Uh, this invasion? I mean, yeah, okay. I mean, I don't love it. They get to grab something. Like, basically, they get to search either their library or whatever, their sideboard. It's been a while since I've seen, like, these kind of cards. Like, uh, Strixhaven had, like, the, uh, the learn cards. There it is! Alright, there it is. Oh, God. I don't think I really have a choice here. I'm still gonna have to just press the issue. I'm just gonna have to try it out. I know they have the Sunfall here. And we got two lands. Well, I think the game's pretty much over. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. We get 12 damage off here, but... Well, excuse me. Excuse me. Make that a 9. And now they're just gonna Sunfall. That is really unfortunate, but... See, how, how bad did we get flooded here? This is 5, 6, 7, 8... 8 out of 16. That's what fit wants. Well, just 50%. 50% lands. Tail swipes not gonna cut it. I think we're pretty safe to um. So incubator, yeah. I think I, I think it's over. We'll, we'll go ahead and give it maybe one more draw, but it's probably over. I don't think I don't think we can we're not really built to survive. Um Doppelgang. Yeah, this thing's really good, man. No hate on it. No hate on it. We're going to give him a good game, though. See, maybe if they, like, snag something super crazy here. It's just another doppelgang. And another sunfall here, so... <laughs> another land. It is what it is. Hey, GG's. Sometimes, um... Yeah. 